Welcome back my wonderful YouTube family. Today we are diving deep into the world of sales dashboard but don't worry I will be your guide through this complete dashboard. Let's start with the basics. What you are looking at right now is the dashboard designed for higher management. Basically this dashboard is for CEO. It's like a control panel that gives you all the information at one window. At the very top we have some crucial numbers. I'm having the retail number, the wholesale number and the total sales. More I'm having the line trend of retail sales wholesale and total sale more if I will click on this focus mode I can review my these sales similarly if I will click this focus mode this is giving me the trend line of total sales and see that magic number 91 cotton basically this is a forecasted number this is a forecasting line and 91.5 is the forecasted number means if the sales are more than this number then the sales are okay and if the sales are less than this 91 or lower than this line means these sales are not good more we are having sales by region sales by territory sales by town and sales by brand more if I will over my cursor here this is showing me a tooltip a segregation of the brand for this region basically this is central region and this is showing me the segregation of brand sales similarly I can see the segregation here and here as well more if I will click this central region these territories are aligned with this region and if I will press control from my keyboard then I will click this territory this will give me the towns with reference to this territory so basically this is the introduction of this beautiful powerful power bi dashboard now let's get started and start building this complete dashboard so first of all I'm going to open power bi first of all First of all, I'm going to select this report. Then I'm going to click this import data from Excel. This is my file and I'm going to select brand, region, sales, territory, town and I'm going to load this data because I have fixed formatting concerns already in Excel file load. So now I'm going to visit this second option table view and I'm going to add this new table. This is my calendar table is equal to calendar auto filter. And here I have to add new column. Day number is equal to day is the DAX formula, calendar date. Next one is new column. Day name is equal to format date. And the format of the date will be three times D. If I will put four times D here, it will give me the complete name of the day, but but I want shorter one, so that's why I'm I'm giving it three times D. Now I'm going to visit this third and last option of model view. And here I have to draw the relationship between these tables. First of all, I'm going to delete the relationships. I'm just selecting this line and pressing delete from my keyboard. So basically region, territory, town, brand and calendar. These are my unique tables or you can say these are my fact tables and sale is my transactional table. So I have to connect these fact tables, these unique tables with one to many relationship with my transactional table. For example, this is region ID. So I will connect it with this region ID, this territory ID, this territory ID to this territory ID, this this town ID to this town ID, brand ID to this brand ID and I will connect this date to my this wizard date. So basically these tables are connected with one to many relationship. This one means one and static means many. Now I'm going back to this report view and I'm visiting this home under home. This is my inter data. This is my calculations and I'm going to load it under calculation I'm clicking this more options new my year so the first calculation is my retail sale is equal to sum sales table in my sales table I have to sum the retail sales okay I will select this comma format and set this decimal to one again going to this calculation this more option new my year this is my wholesale is equal to sum of sales table this is my wholesale okay formatting to this comma setting decimal to one again i'm visiting this calculation more option new my year this is my total sale is equal to this is my retail sale plus this is my wholesale 
enter. Now I'm going to visit this format your report page and under canvas background I'm going to select this black color and set its transparency to zero. Now I'm going to insert this shape and selecting this one. Now I'm going to this journal under journal this is property and I will set it to 400 under view selecting this one and I'm going to select this executive I'm copying and pasting it again and making it one more copy now I have selected these all cards and I'm going to this format align the first option I'm going to select from here this is align top and the second one is distribute horizontally now I'm going to select this card and from my calculations I'm going to paste retail sale here now I'm going to visit this format your visual this is my call out value and I will make it white make it 32 make it bold similarly I'm going to my this category make it white make it bold now I'm going to this journal under effect I'm going to disable this background I'm going to copy and paste it again pasting it here again copy pasting it here I'm selecting this one and I will replace this retail sale with my wholesale similarly I'm selecting this one and I will replace this retail sale with my this total sale I'm going to select this one this one and I'm going to this call out value and in call out value I'm selecting display unit 2000 I'm going to select this line chart and in line chart I'm going to insert my this detail sale and from my calendar I'm selecting this day number to my x-axis now I'm going to this format your visual and this is x-axis under this visual in x-axis I will disable this value this text and visiting this y-axis in y-axis I will disable this value this title then I'm visiting this line and I will make it dotted and this color to white. In general, this is my effect and I will remove the background. This is my title and I will make it text to white. This is my date wise sales trend. On first 68, on second 74, on third 74. Then I'm going to visit my this last option add further analysis to it and I'm going to insert this average line, at line. This is line, make its color to white. This is my data label and I will make its color to white. So basically, this is showing the per day sales means. The sales upper than this line is okay. These sales are less than 82 cartons means these sales are not good. So now if I'm clicking on this focus mode, this is showing nothing because I have set its background color to none. So now I will set its background color with the same color of this card. So I'm selecting this one and from this journal, this is effect. This is background color and I will set it to this same color now if I will click on this focus mode now you can see this is visible to me now I'm going to copy and paste it here and I will replace this retail sale to my this wholesale and this line color to white similarly visiting this add further analysis and here this is my average line I'm adding it this line color to white and this data label color to white as well copying pasting it again and here I will adding this total sales and removing this wholesale and from my visual this is line and making its color to white add further analysis average line add line line make it white and text color and its value need to set to white so now i want to change the color of this card so that's why i'm selecting this card I'm going to this style and i'm setting its color to this one and now i have to adjust the color of this chart as well with reference to this card so i'm selecting format here visual under visual under journal this is my effect and here i will set its color to 
this same color. Now I'm going to visit this tonal chart. I'm selecting this tonal chart, and here, first of all, I'm going to select this region, and then I'm going to select under calculations my total sales. Then I'm going to visit format your visual. This is my legend. I'm going to select my legend. This is text, and I will make it white and bold. Then this is my detail labels. These are the values. I will make them white and make them bold. Then I'm going to journal. The first thing is title. Center line it background color to white and text color to black. That is already black. Then I'm visiting my this effect. Under effect, I'm selecting this background and set this background to black. This is border visual. I will make it on and make its border color to white under journal. This is my property and I will set it to 31400. Copy and paste it here. I am selecting this second chart and I will replace this region with my this brand. Then I am selecting this chart again and here I will replace this brand with my territory and I will change its type to this clustered bar chart. So the first thing I am selecting this format your visual select this y axis and setting the color of the value to white making them bold then selecting x axis and i will remove the values and the title then i'm going to select this data labels the background color of the data labels is set to black and the values to white that is already this is white then i'm making a copy this chart and I will replace this territory with this town. If I'm selecting anything from the chart, this is not slicing the dashboard. I'm selecting my this chart and I'm going to this format and I'm selecting this added interactions. After selecting this chart, I'm going to select this filter, this filter, this filter, then selecting this chart, this filter, 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 this one, filter, filter. Filter selecting this last chart. Filter, filter. Now, if I'm selecting this southern, this is slicing the rest dashboard. If I'm selecting this territory, this territory is selecting this dashboard as well. Now, again under format, I will disable this edit interactions. Now, I have add a tooltip means if I over my cursor here, it must show me the brand wise segregation of this region. If I hover cursor here, it must show the brand wise segregation of this region. So, to making this tooltip, I'm selecting this new page. This is my and tooltip then under my this format your report page i'm going to select this canvas setting under this type i'm selecting this tooltip then i'm going to select this clustered bar chart and then under calculation i'm selecting my this total sales this is my brand i'm selecting this brand to my x-axis then i'm going to this format your visual then i'm going to select this y-axis and i will remove this title from my axis then i will be visiting this x-axis and i will remove the values and the title from x-axis then i will select this data labels the background color of the data label will be black set transparency to zero and values to white make them bold under journal this is my title background color to white background color to this black and text color to white now i'm going back to my this page and i'm selecting my this chart and i'm going to visit this format your visual under general this is my tooltip and this page i'm selecting this brand tooltip and now if i will hover my this cursor here now this is showing me the brand by segregation of this specific region if i will select here it will be showing the brand by segregation of this region similarly i can apply this on this chart as well and on this chart as well now if i will hover my cursor on this peshawar territory now this is showing we are selling candy and rio to this territory so this is the way you can add the tooltip to your dashboard basically my this dashboard is ready and i have to upload this dashboard to the power bi portal so for this first of all i need to save my this dashboard control s more options browse this device this is my sales executive dashboard in power bi save then under home this is publish 
select got it so basically this is my power bi portal and i have to search for my executive dashboard so this is my sales executive dashboard in power bi and from here i'm selecting this full screen so my this dashboard is ready for analysis